Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Kim and my husband Gabe is behind the camera. We're setting up our Prius to go camping and traveling. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. But before we get started with our mattress review, let's do a quick update on how the window covers that we made in the last video are holding up. If you haven't seen that video, we will put a link in the description below. All right, so we want to do a quick review on our window covers. I wanted to see how well it was going to hold up, so we left these window covers in the car, whether they were in the window or just laying flat, for two weeks. So far, they still fit snugly. My fabric glue is holding really well, which is this, I'm sorry, this is tacky glue. The tacky glue is holding really well, and the hot glue around the edges is still holding really well. Okay, we'll let you know more as soon as we know. All right, let's talk about this video's mattress review. We got it from Amazon and we paid about $100 for it, but the price seems to fluctuate between about $100 to $125. Um, we're gonna have an unboxing, let you see what it's like. And so far with the, uh, the off-gassing, a lot of people are asking about that. We didn't experience a whole lot of that. Um, it, it wasn't too, too terrible. Um, it fits really well in the vehicle. It's four, it's four inches thick. Um, half, uh, one and a half inch thick memory foam and two and a half inch high density foam for the base. Okay, so really quick I want to talk to you about our first night sleeping in the Prius on our new mattress. Um, we made a slight mistake or miscalculation on which direction we should be sleeping. We put the seats down and underneath the mattress and it caused the mattress to raise up and because we were sloped and our heads were up there, we ended up with a bad experience. Um, it was it was uncomfortable. <laughs> Since then, we have tried it again, but we put our heads to this side. We did not put the seats underneath the mattress and everything laid flat. Um, we also didn't cut the sides of the mattress, so the wheel well does not um, go down, which is great for us. It gives us a little bit of extra support, super comfortable. Um, and after that, we had a great night's sleep. Everything was perfect. Um, All right, I just want to show you guys something really quick. So, underneath this mattress, <laughs> because I'm special, <laughs> I added an extra piece of foam underneath because um, even though this is thick enough, it's great to sleep on by itself. Um, I'm so used to a very large mattress that I wanted some extra cushion. So we went to Walmart and got this $10 piece of foam. It's only 1.5 inches. So we fo I folded it in half. It only goes to halfway point of the bed and it's perfect for me. All right, guys. Um, we're gonna show you really quick how to fold it up and then unfold it. All right, this is all the way folded up. Fits nice and snug between the two sides. All right, um, one more thing uh, that we learned while we were doing this is that uh, we were really interested in where to put these when we are out and about. Um, when the mattress is folded up to save space up there, we have a crease here and it fits perfect. Even the longest window here, the back panel, fits perfect in this space, obviously, because it's the back of the car. So we just slide it in, let it lay flat. We're done. Here's what it looks like with all the window covers underneath. Okay. That's all of them, everything. All right. The other really cool thing about having a trifold mattress, other than being able to store these here, is this really cool fixture. Now we can easily set up our seats with no problem at all. We did consider getting the six inch mattress over the four inch, but we went with the four inch for one thing, it was half the price. Um, for another, we can easily see through the back window with this folded down. With the 6 inch, it would have added an extra 6 inches up, which probably would have covered up our entire view when it's folded up through the back window. So this makes it a little bit easier driving. Alright, now let's unfold it. Alright, just that simple. 
Okay, that's it for this week. Please like and subscribe so you can check out the next video that we have on setting up our Prius for camping, and we'll see you next time.